Welcome to the Tech Doctor. Today we are comparing two productivity apps for PDF reading and note taking for the iPad, Flexil and GoodNotes. I'll be comparing these two under these headings and these will be time stamped in the description below. So let's get started. Let's talk about the user interface of Flexil. It has a navigation bar on the left where you can view your PDFs, notes, files and other cloud storage apps like Google Drive to import files. You can browse through your folders on the right side and you can also choose between a folder view or a list view. The folders can be sorted based on name, date and size. GoodNotes on the other hand has a simpler user interface with no partition. You can see your files as folders or as a list. You cannot navigate to any cloud storage directly. For that you need to click on the plus sign and import files from whichever apps you like. So that's an extra step. You can sort the folders and files by date, name and type. GoodNotes on the home page also gives you option to search your PDFs and notes directly and also to navigate to your favorite documents. And yes, it can search the text of all documents at once and even your handwriting directly from the home page. This saves a lot of time as you don't need to open each file and then search. So for a user interface, I would rate Flexil better than GoodNotes, except for the search functionality in GoodNotes. That is just brilliant. Now let's talk about reading and annotating on PDF files. Flexil gives you an option to have a one page view or a two page view. The page will scroll horizontally only. The editing toolbar can be moved wherever you like on screen, which makes it easier to quickly toggle between pens and highlighters. You can toggle between gesture mode and pen mode with a single click or double tapping the Apple Pencil. It lets you customize the width and color of each tool and you can have pens of various colors and sizes and you can add as many as you like. Apart from these, you have an eraser, the shapes tool to draw various shapes, tool to add text, images and to select your annotations and do whatever you want with them. The selection tool in Flexil is only in a rectangular shape. Good Notes, on the other hand, does not have a double page view. You can scroll the pages horizontally as well as vertically. The editing toolbar can be either at the top or at the bottom. You cannot move it around like in Flexil. So you will find yourself moving up and down again and again on the screen to fetch the desired tool. Good Notes gives you three preset colors and sizes which can be adjusted but you tend to forget which width you were using and it gets confusing sometimes. So basically you are stuck with three presets. Other features on the toolbar include a zoomed in view which lets you write uninterrupted without having to pan around the page again and again, eraser, highlighter, shapes tool, lasso tool, and this lasso tool is a freestyle selection tool. Then you have an image tool, a camera to capture images directly, a tool to add text, and a pointer for presentations. But there is one major difference between both the apps. Flexil adds the highlighter above the text, which makes the text appear faded, which was a deal breaker for me. While GoodNotes pushes the highlighter behind the text and makes the text look more prominent. So overall, if you don't mind the highlighting part, then for annotations and reading PDFs, Flexil is a better choice. Third point for comparison is the note taking experience. Flexil lets you make custom notebooks. You can sort them into folders. It gives you a variety of custom covers but the page templates are limited. The best feature of Flexil is that it links your notes to the PDF file. If you copy a text from your PDF into your notes, it will link that text to the original source in the PDF file. So you just click on the text and you will reach the part of the book where you copied it from. Handwriting experience on Flexil is just okay, as it is not pressure sensitive.
Good Notes also lets you make custom notebooks and sort them into folders, but there is no way to link the notes to PDFs. It has more options to customize your notebooks and has more page templates compared to Flexel. You can also import new templates from the internet. The best part about Good Notes is the handwriting experience. It offers three types of pens. They are pressure sensitive and tilt sensitive. It makes your handwriting look way better than it actually is. Good Notes also has a brilliant palm rejection feature and you can choose your writing posture for accuracy. So for note taking experience, Good Notes is a winner all the way. Searching documents is so much better than Good Notes because it has an indexing feature. It creates an index of all the words in a document and all the words that are handwritten for a quick search. This makes your life so easy and it's so fast to move around documents and your own notes. So to Good Notes, only for this extraordinary search feature, I would give one extra point. Both these apps are available at a comparable price on the App Store. So my final verdict is Flexil is better for reading PDFs and annotating, while Good Notes is a better app for note taking. Based on various features that we have discussed, you may choose the app which suits you best. If you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.